Okay, hopefully everyone made it to this video and they feel comfortable identifying the M sheet and CWT pricing formula. And you understand that the difference between them is that M sheet is the price per 1,000 sheets and CWT is the weight of paper. So your input values must be weight of paper versus sheets of paper. Now that we're all on the same page, let's move on and let's put everything we've done in this lecture together and run through a couple of examples. So I want you to try this example on your own by pausing the video and then we'll go through the answers together. Samantha wants to print 75,000 4 inch by 6 inch playing cards. She's planning to purchase 19 by 25 inch sheets of paper. The paper will be 70 pound gloss text and it sells for $61 a hundredweight. I would like you to do your best to calculate the answers to the following questions. First, how many playing cards will fit out on one PSS? That's our number out formula. Two, how many sheets of 19 by 25 inch paper will she need to purchase? Then, knowing that information, how much will that paper weigh? And then finally, how much will it cost? Note, I've only given you the price of the paper as $61 CWT per hundred weight. So you must use the hundred weight formula. Using M sheet pricing is not an option for this example. Go ahead and pause the video. And when you're ready, you can play and we'll go through the answers together. The first question asks how many playing cards will fit on one press sheet? The correct answer is 18 out. Let me show you how I calculated that. I took the press sheet, which is 19 by 25, and I divided it by the playing card or the item size of 4 by 6. 19 divided by 4 came out to 4.75, and 25 divided by 6 came out to 4.16. I do not want to print part of a uh, playing card, so I'm only concerned with the whole number. So I can fit four of the four inch side of the postcard along the 19 inch side of my press sheet, and four of the six inch side of the playing card along the 25 inch side of the press sheet. When you multiply four times four, the total number out for this option one scenario is 16. But we always try to rotate the item 90 degrees and see if we rotate it, if we can fit more items on a press sheet. So option two, I took the same press sheet of 19 by 25, but this time I switched the bottom values and I divided it by six by four instead of four by six so that I could rotate the item and see if I could get a couple more playing cards on the press sheet. 19 divided by six came out to 3.16 and 25 divided by four came out to 6.25. I don't care about the decimals, so I'll take the whole numbers, 3 and 6, and multiply them. And in this option, it allows me to fit 18 playing cards on my press sheet. So I would say that we are going to print this 18 out. The second question is, knowing that I can fit 18 playing cards per press sheet, how many sheets of paper do I need to purchase for this job? The correct answer is 4,167 sheets. I calculated that by taking the total uh, number of items that I'm printing, in this case it's 75,000 playing cards, and I divided that by the number of items that I can fit on one press sheet, which we calculated to be 18. 75,000 divided by 18 came out to 4,166.66667. I do not want to print part of a sheet of paper, it's not physically possible, so no matter what that value came out to, I'm going to round it up to the next whole number and purchase 4,167 sheets of paper. The next step is to calculate how much that paper weighs because the price of the paper that I was given is given per 100 pounds. The correct answer is 291.69 pounds. I calculated that by taking my paper size, I'm purchasing 19 by 25 inch sheets of paper, and dividing it by the basic size of that text weight paper and the basic size is 19 by 25 for text weight paper. In the middle column I took the total number of press sheets I'm purchasing as 4167 and divided it by 500 and then multiplied it times the basis weight and the basis weight is 70 pounds because that's the value that was given to us in the example. 19 by 25 came out to 475 and then 25 times 38 came out to 950. When you divide 475 by 950, it comes out to 0.5. 4,167 sheets of paper divided by 500 came out to 
So then when I multiply 0 0.5 times 8.334 times 70 pounds, the total weight of the paper is 291.69 pounds. Do not round any of the values in this formula until you get to the very end, and then only round if you have to, and so you do not have to round this one because it comes out to exactly 291.69 pounds. The last step is to figure out how much the paper will cost. The correct answer in this example is $177.93. I calculated that by taking the weight of the paper, 291.69 pounds, and dividing it by 100, and then multiplying it times the 100 weight price that I was given in the example, which was $61 a 100 weight. When you divide 291.69 by 100, you move the decimal place two spaces to the left and get 2.9169. 2.9169 times $61 equals $177.93. To review, the correct answers for this example were 18 out, 4,167 sheets, 291.69 pounds, and $177.93 for that paper.